Using food to train a dog. One question that I and other Positive Methods dog trainers are consistently asked is, why do I have to use food to train my dog? You may also be wondering why it is so important to use treats or food to train your dog and why it is so effective. In this video, I'll explain why we use food in dog training and why it is so incredibly effective and reliable, so stick with me. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jessica and I'm a pet parent coach and Positive Methods dog trainer. On this channel, I discuss all things dog training, behavior, nutrition, and enrichment. If that's why you're here, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. I'm also curious what you're using right now to train. Let me know in the comments. So in this video, we're talking about why we use food to train and why it is so effective. The key component of successful dog training is finding what motivates your dog the most. Of course, every dog is an individual and each may have varying degrees of things that motivate them, such as love and praise, toys, playtime, maybe even going for a walk really gets your dog excited. But the common factor between most dogs is that food is also very motivational. In fact, because food is a primary or biological need, it's a very powerful tool not only for shaping new behaviors, but also to help dogs who are fearful, anxious, or aggressive move past their fears. Food literally changes the chemical makeup of the brain. It can help a dog overcome anxiety as well as learn new things. When your dog sees food, dopamine is released in the brain. Dopamine not only helps regulate emotional responses, but also enhances your dog's ability to learn through reward-based training. Through scientific research, we know that food-based rewards encourage learning. We know that a dog's brain has wiring that promotes seeking or hunting behaviors and other wiring that elicit a fear response. When one is turned on, the other is turned off. Presenting food turns on the seeking system, thereby turning off the fear. This is why using food, especially engaging in scent work, is so powerful for fearful or aggressive dogs. We also know that if a dog is in the presence of a stimulus that scares them, but they are presented with food before reaching their threshold, they will have a positive emotional response. And we know that turning on the thinking brain turns off the emotional brain. So by introducing positive motivation, in this case, food, you are allowing your dog to move into a calmer state of mind that is allowing learning to take place. We also know that for dogs who have anxiety or are stressed, introducing food allows us to change their anxiety and stress levels because food and fear are incompatible. As you can tell by now, using food to train fearful dogs is an excellent choice. Science has shown us that food is the absolute best way to transform a dog's emotional state from fearful to calm. When food is presented to a dog who is in the presence of a fearful stimulus, introducing food has the power to change the brain. Through smell and taste, food can bypass the fear and anxiety by engaging the amygdala, the emotional center of the brain. This allows the dog not only to move their focus away from fear, but towards feelings of pleasure. So your dog can move away from the negative emotions they were feeling and towards positive emotions brought on by the introduction of food. Now that we know this, it seems like any dog who is fearful should definitely receive some food-based positive training. But inevitably, every positive methods trainer will be asked, Aren't you just bribing your dog to do what you want? The answer is actually no. While on the surface it may seem like bribery, trading something you have for something you want, what we're actually doing is conditioning the brain. My dog shouldn't do what I tell them to do just because I tell them to do it. Instead, we gently teach our dog what we want by allowing them to learn the appropriate responses to cues provided. 
When you understand how food actually changes the brain and how using food rewards is scientifically proven to promote learning, and especially how food can change a fearful and anxious dog, how could anyone discount the magnitude of positive rewards training? Before we go, let's answer a few more questions many people still have about using food to train their dogs. One question I'm often asked is if they should only be using food to reward during training. The first thing to note is that the food you use during training needs to be a very high value to your dog, meaning something they really like. For example, my dog prefers chicken hearts over everything else. So I use dehydrated chicken hearts cut up into small pieces. When we train a behavior or a cue, we initially will reward with food and praise every single time until we are confident our dog has it down pat. Then we can start to reward less often, maybe three out of four, and then every other time, and then one in four times, etc., until we are randomly rewarding and not consistently rewarding with food specifically. <laughs> Which leads me into the next question. Won't my dog get fat with all these rewards? The answer here is also no. Not if you're monitoring what you feed for rewards and remove those calories from mealtime. In fact, when I work with a dog, my preference is to get rid of mealtime altogether. Use all or as much as possible of their daily food allowance in training. For some dogs, this may not be possible, but we can certainly set aside at least some of their regular food to play games and promote learning around training. I hope that this video has shed some light on why we use food to train and helped put your mind at ease about overfeeding. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Once you do, a bell will pop up. Click on the bell and allow notifications. That way YouTube can notify you each time a new video is posted. And don't forget to comment below. Let me know if this video has taught you anything about using food to train. I'd love to know what you think. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.